Police and the ATF are investigating two shootings that left four dead. One man arrested after all of the bloodshed started in southwest Dallas last night, ended minutes later a few miles away in DeSoto. LaToya, live in Dallas with more. And the most curious thing about this is alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosives. Federal agents investigating a murder? Exactly. We still haven't been able to tie in that piece of it, but what we can tell you is that the suspect in this case, Irby Bowser, uh, was a Army Ranger. At least that's what we're being told by the uh, victim's family. At least one of the victim's family tells me that he does have military experience. So you can draw your own uh, conclusion there of, of why the ATF could be involved in this. Maybe uh, he had a, more than just a gun with him. We just don't know at this point. But, you know, the family of one of the victims, 43-year-old Tanya Smith have been pointing the finger at Irby Bowser all along. They say that he is her boyfriend. We have a mugshot of him from 2011 that you just saw. He was arrested last night in DeSoto at that second scene. He has not been formally charged. Of course, we'll have more on that coming up a little bit later. But Toya's family, you know, they say he was very possessive. And so they weren't shocked when they found out what happened to her and her 17-year-old daughter. They discovered both of them dead inside their southwest Dallas home in the 7100 block of Long Canyon Trail around 10.30 last night. They say that Bowser also shot Toya's son, Storm Malone, and Tamiya's best friend, who's 17. She was in the home. The two are at different hospitals this morning. Their conditions are unknown at this time. But Toya's mom is very heartbroken about this. She talked to us earlier about this unimaginable loss. My grand, other grandbaby knocked on the window, and we could hear somebody, like, gasping for breath in there. And, and uh, he said, Granny, they listening to headphones. And I said, no, that's not a headphone. Yeah, just a bit. Let's take another look at Irby Bowser. In fact, uh, Lorlene Smith says that she tried to get her, her daughter to break up with him for years. And... Uh, We've learned more about him. He's a former teacher, a former Maverick Maniac dancer. In fact, we have video from 2002 of him dancing on that team. He also has a criminal record dating back to the late 80s. Natoya's family also told us that he has an ex-wife in DeSoto. That is also where he was arrested and the scene of a second shooting very similar to the one that happened here in southwest Dallas. In fact, Saul Garza is standing by live there. Saul, what can you tell us? Well, you know, and speaking of similarities, as you mentioned, Latoya, the family and the uh, friends of the victim here saying the same thing pretty much, that they did have a, a volatile relationship. Uh, how long that relationship lasted and when they broke up at this point, we're still trying to gather that information. But uh, they're pretty much saying the same thing here at this house in uh, DeSoto, the 100 block of Galleria Drive, where a number of officers, investigators on the scene, including the ATF and FBI. Now, Dallas police uh, do say that about 15 minutes after the Dallas shootings, they were dispatched here. And when they got here, officers found the four gunshot victims, two of whom were dead here at the scene. No information on their ages or their identities. I spoke with some of the neighbors who say that around 1045, they heard what they describe as a very loud boom or an explosion. And they said they came outside not knowing what was going on. They were just playing basketball with my husband and my son in the backyard two days ago. So, you know, they were regulars and coming over after school, games. They were neighborhood kids. So just to know that this happened to them, it's just, it just hurts. I just feel for them. And we mentioned that loud explosion, and that uh, does pretty much explain why the ATF would be here uh, investigating. Now, again, the uh, neighbors here and the family members who I spoke with do say that uh, Bowser uh, was the uh, either ex-boyfriend uh, of the uh, victim here. She lived here with her 14-year-old son, as well as her 8-year-old son. Now, her adult daughter also had a 3-year-old boy. Uh, she was here last night spending the night and she would often spend the night here according to those uh, uh, friends and a family but uh, what we can tell you at this point is that uh, the three-year-old according to one neighbor who saw police and CPS take him away so obviously he was not injured but at this point we do not know who was injured who was killed uh, here at this house here in DeSoto we can tell you that the suspect was arrested here at the scene and we do expect to learn more information at a news conference uh, later on this morning 
morning at 10 o'clock. At this point, this investigation, as you can imagine, uh, is going to be a joint investigation between uh, Dallas, uh, DeSoto, as well as ATF and the FBI. That's the latest here in DeSoto this morning. Sawun so Garza for Good Day.